Hey guys, Dan the Man here, and today I've got an unboxing for you guys. Here I have the Crucial 4TB NVMe Gen 3 or PCIe 3.0 as they call it, which can do up to uh, like 3,500 megabytes of read and write speed. It's a pretty good little thing in there. As you can see, uh, I haven't opened this thing up yet. It's a pretty good thing. We're gonna have this thing installed in that system. As you can see, it's pretty dusty. I have uh, disconnected the GPU already, which was in there. It's kind of a hassle. I've zip tied the cable to the GPU for cable management before, so that's why I cannot remove it entirely. So let's open this thing up. It has a little thing up there. It's a little bit hard to open it. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know what, go the old school way and have this cut off. Wow, I even damaged the box, but it's okay. Who cares? As long as this thing inside there works. So it's pretty straightforward. There isn't anything in there really. It's a couple of uh, pieces of paper. There's like a variety information stuff and there is another user manual guide kind of a thing by Crucial. So, we have the drive itself here. They even include a little screw in there. So you can screw it in your system right there. The system's pretty dusty, actually. I'm going to be cleaning in the, this a little bit later if you happen to be upgrading your system. Uh, it's also good to clean it because you're already opening up, taking out the GPU and everything else. So, it would be a good and reasonable thing to do at the same time. So... Here is the NVMe SSD. It looks pretty nice. And it says assembled in Mexico, but made in not sure where. It's got 4,000 gigabytes. It sounds weird saying 4,000 gigabytes. 4 terabytes in there. So it's very straightforward. I have one NVMe slot that is not occupied and I'm gonna try to put it in there you know it's actually kind of hard to do it when you're recording a video okay but before that there's a screw in there that I need to open so let's have that screw opened it's hard to do it with one hand Okay, guys, I'm going to pause the video so you just get the point. You just put it in there, screw it in there. But there's one screw in there. I need to take that out. And then push this back in and then screw it there. I'll be back in a sec. It was actually hard to take it out. I had to find the smallest, tiniest screwdriver I have. Comparing them together, this is massive. This is really tiny. So we're going to put the drive back in there. The drive that is currently already in this system is not very fast. It's like a Gen 3, just like this, but it's the slower edition of it. I think it's about like 2,000 uh, gigabytes or 2 terabyte per second. So we have it all installed in there beautifully. You're going to put the GPU back in there. And connect the cables and switch everything on let me try to do that okay that's how it's gonna go later on I'm gonna do that off the video that was it and I'll show you guys how fast this thing can be